The number one reason I have book map is to see where we're going. I can see the objectives. We have 11 to uh, 50, we have 11 to 30, we have 11 to 15, and then we have uh, over here sort of 11 to 100. So we want to penetrate this, 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 this. We want to keep going. We're on a roll upwards. I definitely want to be in the game before we start hitting the big time here. So I'm going to be looking for a pullback and to get into the game before we start getting into this. So we're, we're here. Let's zoom in here. So we're here going through. Beautiful pullback. Get in here a little bit. Uh, we're going to come and test this. There's another pullback I can get into. Uh, let's switch to bar so we can kind of see where we're going here. So this is going to be the pullback right there that I want to get into this. You definitely want to be in the game before we are launching forward up here. And because I see where we're going, I have the opportunity to get into the best possible pullback. A lot of times it just looks like we're consolidating if you're just looking at a chart. We're not consolidating. We're, well, technically we are, but we want to get the uh, three objectives up here. And these are where we're going, so I want to be in the game before we get that done. So now that I'm in the game, now I'm going to get the maximum benefit with very, very little loss here. Because we have a prop account. We don't want to have any loss whatsoever. It counts against us. So now we can grab this pullback. Now we're in the game. Let's get through this. We penetrated this. Now we are going to literally launch upward into the next objective. And I'm in the game because I knew what we were doing. If I just look at the chart, it just looks like, eh, you know, something's going on. But now I see where we're going. Now I see what's happening. Now I see the potential for some huge green bars, some huge activity, and I'm making money the entire time upwards. And I think that's one of the important parts for this. Uh, Another thing is reversals. If I don't care about the trend, just want some reversals, I want some quick action, I could definitely get some bounces off of these uh, resistance areas as well. I could just sit here and turn off the turn off the candlesticks. There we go. I can sit here and say, yeah. And if you'll notice when we do actually sort of bounce off of this, you have a big green bubble. The big green bubble just kind of says, yeah, we penetrated what we needed. We came back, what have you, or we sort of hit a, a, a maximum key point. And I believe Al Brooks calls this a exhaustion bar where we just sort of went you see this right you see the exhaustion bar where we went as far as we can and we're going to pull back a little bit so if you want to do a quick scalp contrary to the trend we could do that we just have this opportunity here nice little bar that's going to come down it's going to get us a scalp as we're bouncing off of this we're giving it first try second try third try what have you in order to get through this obstacle and i can see where the scalp is going to be the best to take place right there boom scalp the thing about this is when you have this reversal right you have this reversal you have the exhaustion bar you have a quick reversal uh this is just a, a beautiful scalp that happens very fast and i think that's the key point here it doesn't like take a long time to go backwards when it bounces off one of these key areas it's very quick so you have a lot of volume here of people you see this a lot of volume just a spike volume where i can get a quick scalp I don't have to wait for the bar to form. I don't have to wait half an hour for these bars to form, what have you. It's very, very fast. So if you bounce off of this and you don't get through it, again, we have a quick scalp. This is also the PATS system, right? The PATS system, uh, price action trading system, I think. Uh, he talks about, look, we got try number one, right? And then we got try number two. And then we're coming in for try number three. This right here is such an optimum scalp as well. Because we know we're really going to sort of penetrate through this. We got try number two, try number three. You grab one of these and look at the volume. It's nuts. It's just like boom. Nice. Beautiful. What do you need? What do you need? Five, eight ticks. This is going to be your scalp right here towards the trend. Uh, so this is PAT system friendly, definitely, right? Again, we're coming up. We know our next objective. And again, we're... we're in the game because we knew what we were trying to do we knew what the objectives were 
and now, no matter what system you're using, you're going a quick scalp, you're going the trend, whatever you are, you're in the game, you're making it happen right here. A lot of times we'll have a complete reversal from this and we don't get through that resistance level. We bounce back and that is the ultimate reversal. And again, you can kind of see right here, right? We're just ready to go. Lots of volume, lots of interest coming through here. You can see it right here, and that is going to give you what you need, right? A lot of uh, a lot of activity, a lot of profit right here. And again, because we got in way down here, we knew where we were going. We got in, and uh, now we're making maximum uh, levels of profit. It's effectively like having a map in World of Warcraft when you're playing a Rathi Basin or a Battleground, right? You've taken all the bases. There's nothing else to conquer. Uh, there's nothing else here. We're going to consolidate for a little bit. This is where you're going to take your profit. This is when maybe you get out of the trade, whatever you want to do. Maybe you want to stay in it. Maybe we're going higher forever. Uh, I don't know. But right here would definitely be an opportunity to at least take some profit off of what you're doing. So again, it's, it's a cheat code. It's like it's knowing what is going on in your World of Warcraft battleground. Understand what's happening. Understand what the next objective is. Understand what we're doing finally. Uh, because without the map, you don't know that your team took all five bases, what have you. And uh, it's time to do something different, right? I mean, we may be headed in a different direction right now and maybe having other things going on. But again, it's a cheat code. It lets you know uh, what's happening rather than guessing and uh, not understanding what is going on. Now, I do understand what's going on. Uh, and that is what Bookmap is useful for, in my opinion. One of the more interesting parts to me is we have this line in the sand of resistance up here, 11400, and actually get the jump pow announcement we ended up just rocketing and ricocheting off of that retrying that and then getting through which i thought was just fascinating like this it, this existed before the announcement and we just didn't penetrate it was a like, boom first try right come back second try what have you and then once we had what we needed we just kind of went south so i think just that's fascinating because you, you hit this level 11400 bounce off of it we penetrate it we got it we got what we needed and then boom down we go right we continue down uh, for a bit there so just knowing that that level is there is worth uh, just just a lot of money <laughs> just, just a lot of money we got what we needed uh, we're kind of out of here and again this is sort of my interpretation of uh, what happened but hey uh, but that existed before right and it got thicker it got thicker all of a sudden boom so it's almost like a little preview as you can see here we have more orders more orders lining up it's like a preview of exactly where we're going to go before we went there at least in my opinion so we do have here uh, bounced off of it, got what we needed later, and then went back. But again, you see the exhaustion bar, right? As we're going up through here, uh, you have an exhaustion bar kind of here. You know, we're sort of tired. Again, you have a reversal pending right here. We're sort of reaching up. It's like a plane stalling out. The engine died, and now we're just sort of reversing back. So you kind of see the reversal in progress. And again, just capture that. For a lot of money as we're going down here got a little exhaustion bar for the uh for the uh the bears and we're just going to sort of launch out forward other another thing is is uh, frequently you'll have a zone up top and a zone on bottom and you'll just bounce between those right so right here we, we bounced here against this level down here and then we went up we bounced against here we're coming back we're bouncing against this level and coming back because these are here i, I know when we're reversing I mean, I know when there's a big possibility, at least, that something is going to happen. Again, here, we have an exhaustion bubble, and then down we go. So, again, very fascinating just how easy it is to read this and to see what's kind of coming and to see, at least at a minimum, to see opportunities down here for bounces, for easy reversal spottings, right? Again, right here, we have the 11, uh, 373. So we're just sort of reaching for this. We're meandering that direction. Again, I know where I'm going, so I'm going to get in and I'll pull back. <clears throat> Again, these prop accounts have, uh, you know, 1,500 max loss, uh, 2,500 max loss, what have you, uh, and the, finding the correct pullback, because a lot of times you don't know, you know, is this the pullback that I need to be in? Is that the pullback that I need to be in? Now they have a visual representation of it. I know where I'm headed. I know when to get in on a pullback. So I'm going to go down through here and then have a down pullback here. I'm going to grab into one of these pullbacks as it's sort of bouncing up because I know this is where I need to be for the next 
couple of hours, maybe even the entire day, right? Because we're we're headed this direction. We got try two. We got try sorry. We try one. We got try two. Boom. Try three. We got through. So again, beautiful levels of pullback. If you want to go counter in this, if you want to do pat system, we got you know try number one. Try number two. Maybe I want to be in that. Try number three. I definitely want to be in that. Get my scalp. Get my money and get out of there, right? Because we have two places we're bouncing up against. Right here is just kind of the same thing. Have a nice deep pullback, and you can see this level up here that I'm bouncing against. But it's been a bear day all day. So I know I'm headed downward. This is the time I can see this red line. I'm gonna put a limit order to sell right here. It's going to capture my sell right here. Boom. I've got the pullback if I need to. I get a last minute pullback if I'm late in the game. And then boom. We're, again, we're down the whole day. I'm in the game. I'm making maximum amount of profits. Again, the same thing here where we just sort of cratered, right? We came up here. We penetrated through this. We got what we needed. All of the orders are done. We have an exhaustion bar up here. And this is boom. We're going straight down, right? Straight down. So this is a beautiful representation of we got what we needed. It's time to go downward. It's time to bounce. Again, you have these two red lines here. You know we're going to do at least a little bit of a bounce. So this could be the reversal opportunity. You see right here, an exhaustion bubble, exhaustion bar, as Albert. Brooks called it. We're done, right? We're done. We got everything we need. Big exhaustion bar. I'm going to grab right here, get in, ride this all the way up. Again, just my opinion, but hey, here, another example. We hit this. We sort of took a little bit of a relax, and then we came back for the next objective. I can see this objective, this objective, this objective. I know where we're going. So again, once we have this pullback here, I'm getting in on the game, right? I'm getting in on this. I could get it a quick scalp up, a quick scalp down. Again, you see this is all green up here. So this is like, boom, very quick as it hits this, gets what it needs, moves on to the next objective. We can't get through this. And that's important here. Because we can't get through this, because we're not going to get through this, I have a lot of interest just gone here. It's time to sort of maybe put in a short. It's time to see where we can go, right, with the reverse, because now, boom, we're on the other level. So, again, this is what book map is for. Number one, let you know where we're going, let you know the Arathi Basin objectives in World of Warcraft. Now that I have the map to the battleground, I know we took all five bases, or I know we have no bases, there's a problem. I, at least I know what's going on. I think that's my biggest thing about Bookmap. I know what's going on. I have the the cheat code to what's happening in the background here, what the next objective is, what we should be doing kind of thing, right? So I know that price has something it's doing and understand what's happening. Number two, reversals. So simple because you know kind of where it's at. Again, if we're using the patch system, if you're using a quick scalp, this is the place you see, you know, try number one, try number two to get through this resistance and then boom, maybe we get through it. Maybe we reverse. At least I can see it. I can get a quick scalp. The main thing I'm going to use it for, though, is, again, to get in on the trend, right? You wake up, it's 730. We already have an uptrend, downtrend. I need to get in on this. Where do you get in on this? The pullback is going to be your key, and the pullback is visible here. We have a visible pullback. This is where we're pull, pulling back to. This is your resistance. This is where right here, right? Well, here's my pullback. I'm going up or what have you. This is where the pullback is going to take place. And again, just a lot of easy to spot entry points, a lot of easy to spot resistances. And I think this gets you where you want to be as far as understanding what's happening and uh, being able to get in the game.